Hey, well, it's Chief Forecaster Derek back here with y'all. Again, just going over um, what's going on around the state right now. Um, as you know, we've been dealing with the Facebook adage all afternoon. That's been preventing us from doing a lot of the updates. Um, however, I do like kind of doing it this way. Um, I think, you know, something we might start utilizing a little bit more in the future for those of you that don't want to go directly to, to the Facebook page. Um, but just to give you an idea of what's going on around the state, we still have this area of rain and embedded uh, storms um, moving through pretty much the now the eastern half of the state. West of this line, you are in the clear for the rest of the evening. Um, your winds may uh, pick up a little bit, but other than that, um, your your rain threat is over with. Um, Severe-wise, we've not had anything severe throughout the day. I mean, that's been a very good thing. We're still watching this very eastern corner of the state for some for the potential for severe weather um, as we go over the next hour or two but this threat is slowly starting to move out of the state and here and looking right now this is the strongest uh, line of storms in the state uh, right now basically from Forest City down to um, Helena um, down to just east of Gillette there is some hail starting to uh, be seen in these storms along with very, very, very heavy uh, rain. So looking right now at the strongest storms in the state from um, pretty much just west of uh, Highway 1 um, from Marvel to Aubrey um, to just to the west of Forest City, there is, a, there, is a, there is a little bit of hell showing up in the storm now. So that means they are starting to tap into what little bit of instability that we have left in this part of the state. Um, that being said, this is moving off towards the towards the east here at a fairly good clip uh, right now as you can see um, and this will continue to be moving off and these storms are pulsing up and dying down really really fast um, just to give you an idea of the strength of the storm um, what we're seeing seeing right now and I'm going to, going to put this into perspective for you you know the uh, tops are not very very high at all on these storms generally about 30 30,000 feet what we look for in severe storms generally runs about forty to 50,000 feet. And with the storm staying below this threshold, it's preventing a lot of the upper wind, in it, wind, in, wind energy from being pulsed down to the uh, surface, which is a very good thing. Um, so that being said, these, these um, are the strongest storms in the state at this time, and they're moving off towards the east. A little bit of a Boeing uh, 50 or starting this thing. Would not be surprised to see a severe storm warning get issued on, on these soon as they move towards the Mississippi River here at about 50 to 60 miles an hour. Uh, that being said, um, pretty much for you folks uh, west of this line, your severe threat is over. We may see a brief uh, wind gust to 50 miles an hour, but for the most part, the uh, severe threat is over with for the afternoon and for the coming, coming days. Um, for you folks here in southeast Arkansas, still under flash flood watch, um, until until tomorrow uh, morning, there are, there's also some data indicating that we could see another line of storms very very early in the morning, around four to five a.m. We're gonna have to watch that closely because um, that could also pose a brief damaging wind and uh, heavy rain threat. But once again, we will have to watch that and see how that plays out. I don't see it playing out right now, but once again, that could change. This is a very dynamic system moving across the United States. So once again, this is um, your current your current current weather. Um, no warnings in effect at this time, and and you can always go to ArkansasWeatherWatchers.com for all the latest. You get your current uh, conditions as well as low current uh, live live radar as well as watches and warnings. When we will have another update. Hopefully, Facebook will be back live soon. Um, but we will have another update here soon. And follow us on Twitter at, at ARKWXWatchers um, for all the, all the latest information until we can get ba back up and going. Thank you. Y'all have a wonderful evening.